What's going on everybody? This is Pedro and welcome to another little tutorial Tuesday that um, I'm going to be doing. Um, I used to do them on Sundays and call them Sunday Styles or something kind of like that. But um, I'm going to do it now on Tuesdays for Quick Tip Tuesdays. And today the tutorial or tip I'm going to teach you guys how to do is to make text look like it's on fire or fiery text or whatever. Um, and there's a few ways to do it but this is the way I know how to do it and it's pretty quick and pretty easy. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it get a new layer we're gonna just type fire make it white gonna line it up in the center just doesn't need to but um, for this tutorial or for this way that I do it make sure you have the text where you want it to be because you are gonna merge layers with the black behind it so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now just go ahead and merge the layers by pressing control E um, and I'll merge the two layers together we are going to image and we can rotate it 90 degrees clockwise so that's text is sideways we're going to go into filters um, stylize and down to wind we're going to do it on uh, wind we're going to go from uh, to the left or from the left so the wind uh, fire looks like it's coming to the top now you can do this um, anyway you can for instance say if you wanted to you could have it go like this and so um, the fire will look like it's coming off a different way kinda up like that but for the tutorial I'm gonna leave it like here so I'm gonna go down filter stylize wind and it'll do it and then if you press control F um, it'll do the same style again and so it'll make it look like it's coming off uh, quite higher I guess so like bigger flames is what it's gonna end up being um, we're gonna go filter distort and ripple we're going to go down to medium and change the percentage to 30 and these will add little ripples as the name it called to make it look more uh, fire like and then we're going to go filter do the same ripple again but instead we are going to do it on a large with 40 percent and what that does is it makes it look like there's um, the more the ripples look more unnatural to come out more and um, you can always change them to make them little smaller um, whatever I'm actually gonna leave it right there on 28 so it has a little bit of ripple to it but not like a weird one that kinda messes with it alright then we're gonna go ahead and bring in a, a blur to this we're just gonna do a Cartoon blur on 0.8 anywhere from 0.8 to like 1.5 depending on what you want um, to change it I'm just going to go ahead and do it on point 0.8. Then we can go ahead and rotate the canvas back. So it's back up straight. Um, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and bring in a levels. Let me find where I have it at. Where'd it go? Right here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and whiten it just a little bit. Not too much though, just a little bit. Just measure your levels a little bit. You want to get a nice white, but have some still gray um, neutrals in there too. I think that'll be good. And then we're going to go into our image and go, or our layer actually, I'm sorry, or yeah, image adjustments, and then go down to make sure you have your fire like the fire layer selected. So image, adjustments, and down to selective color. You're going to go to your neutrals and change your cayenne down to as low as you want it. And you just kind of tweak with this until you get the right color that you want. I'm just going to go with it right about there. So if you want to, go ahead and just look at mine and you can go ahead and copy it. Um, 100, positive 14 plus 31 and then negative 2 and that gives it a nice little reds and yellows inside now if you want to you can go ahead and add a gradient map and change the color to something whatever you want so now mine's more red and purple or you can do a green a blue I think the blues look really cool um, it doesn't matter whatever you want I'm gonna go ahead and leave mine at a, a red to yellow so it's more fire like I guess you could say 
Then um, you want to go ahead and grab an image from the internet of a flame or a fire or something like that. They're all over the like, all over Google. They're pretty easy to find. You want to go into your channels. You want to select just the green one. So make sure just the green is selected. You want to while pressing Control, click on the little image. You'll see a little um, box pop up by your hand. You'll click on that and it'll make it a selection. Now what that selection does is it grabs only the um, fire colors like the reds and the yellows from the image. You want to go ahead and select it all, turn it all back on. And then you want to go ahead and press Control X, then Control Shift and V, and that'll bring up the layer with just the fire. Go ahead and bring it in here. And now that it's in here, you can uh, make adjustments to it however you want to make it look more fire-like. Put it um, wherever, do some erasing, um, whatever you like. Hold on, I got crap. Cool. From accidents. Um, to make it just like I said, however you like, whatever suits you. Um, the reason why I don't just take the layer and set it to screen, a uh, fire layer, set to screen, and for most of you who know, um, what screen does, it just takes out the blacks from the image. So instead of doing that, I'm gonna show you guys why you don't do that. Um, if you were to press screen, which takes the blacks out of the image, um, you can't really see the fire over the um, text, which you can, if you wanted, if that's what you wanted, then you can do that. Um, but it doesn't look like the text is actually on fire. Or if you were to put it, just say linear dodge add, it's the same thing where it's just, uh, you can't see it over. Now if you wanted to do it um, a different way, what you could do, uh, if you press control I, and then set it to multiply, that takes the negative of it and then it does it just um, takes out the whites so it's kind of a different way of doing it but see this one only shows on the white and it doesn't show on the um, on the black so if you want to do that way you could do it that way too I hope this tutorial helped I hope you guys learned something um, remember to just um, finish it off I'm not gonna for a second tutorial just make it faster um, and you can put your fire wherever you wanted to make it look different um, I hope you guys, like I said, like this tutorial. There'll be more later on. Leave a comment below of what you'd like to see for the next tutorial, and I will see you guys at the next video. Take care.